Firstly, RIP to Junior Pope may so continue to rest in paradise. And yesterday, what is barrier? Well, there were a lot of crazy stuff going on at the barrier site. A lot of irregularities. Some people were trying to use the barrier site as a form of fashion ground. Why some people were just dressed casually? Why some people of the actresses have some allegations to answer to? Why some people also saw it as an avenue to beef or to call out other actors and actresses? You know, Nigeria, this one, are the common something. Hmm? Whenever we see situation, we try to twist that situation to use it to suit ourselves, to call out other people. So that was exactly what was happening at that uh, barrier site yesterday. Some people actually came there to send their condolences. So some of them were over crying. Some of them were just over happy. Some of them saw it as a fashion ground. Just like this actress, Queen. I understand that there is need for everybody to look really, really fine, you no, know, attractive and dashy. But come on, man. You are going to a barrier, not a fashion show. Even after she was called out and corrected, she started insulting the people who were calling her out. Come on, man. You saw every other person there dress responsibly. All the evil Olu shows me the con there. They saw that there as an avenue to dress responsibly. But we don't know if you now, Olu, show, sorry to say, oh, but you decided to dress irresponsibly. Wearing shorts. At least you let it go down a little bit, close to your knees. But you say, no, you told the tailor, no, tailor, I beg, this thing is too damn, bring it up a little bit. Are you using the avenue to, have, to make men toast you? That's the question. I'm not putting accusation at up. And again, let's now go to Zubi Mike. <laughs> Zubi Mike, eh? The way he came to that barrier yesterday, it seems like he was forced to come there. Like, he never really prepared to come there. They came to his house to carry him to go, to go to that place. It seems like he was forced. He was reluctant to even come to that barrier. People have to come to his house to drag him out because he was wearing just casual outfit. We already know, according to the world standard, the way we the approach barrier, according to the Christian ways. The world standard, you wear black and black. According to the Christian's way, standard is black and black. But you decide to wear red. Red signifies danger. Red signifies blood. Red signifies hatred. You decide to wear red. You didn't see any other outfit to wear, at least white. White can signify peace. Or you wear black. So I do not understand why Zubi Michael decided to wear black on that fateful day yesterday. That should be a question that should be asked. At least, at least she should be able to give an explanation. So, okay, I wore why I wore black because I wore red because of this and that. Because there is no evil explanation that is going to give that make anybody believe that. Zubi Mike, are you sure you are not a hater? You know, he, he, he did crazy now. He did absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. The first show was going well yesterday. Everything went well. Uh, Junior Pope was buried well. I just, my deepest condolences to the wife. I saw the video of the, uh, of the first son really, really crying furiously. The first son actually knows exactly what in and his siblings will miss. You know, and again, the controversies between his wife. There are, there are numerous stories that his wife was cheating and this and that. You know, blogs just, re just releasing some crazy story about them. You know, man, it's really crazy. People just need to chill and relax a bit. Chill and relax a bit. So that rumors are also there also. I mean, well, there's one actress there that said, see, there is no home that is peaceful. They should allow the wife to grieve peacefully. 
They should allow the wife to grieve peacefully. No home that is peaceful. Yes, I really love what that woman said. She's a legendary uh, actress. Of course, you can see her. I really love what she said. There is no home that there is there is that is extremely peaceful. If you are married, then you will understand. No home is actually really really peaceful. You can make peace out of your own home. Your home cannot make peace out of you. Your home cannot make peace out of you. You have to be the one to try to make peace. So, and sometimes the man and the woman can disagree. There is room for disagreement because it's a growing process. It's a growing process. But we do not know the grief of their fight, though. We do not know what actually happened. So that is a story that we will never know of. Because it's between Junior Pope and his wife. And Junior Pope dog by now. But so continue to rest in peace. I just feel sorry for his son. People just came there yesterday to do fashion. People came there, Reverend Father collect money. You know, I will, I will never understand, I will never understand our sisters, brothers, side when it comes to celebrating of barrier i will never understand it because barrier despite is for happiness i don't know despite yeah, yeah, something shouldn't be so like it's something that should be pious you know they just lead the person to grave pray for that person because that person need prayer more than the beer you now go drink for your head again just imagine if drinking beer is a sin, womanizing is a sin, womanizing is a sin, and you use that avenue of that guy better to womanize and drink beer, you are adding more pain to that guy year after. That's why I say that like people came there just to catch other celebrities, just to mingle, go drink booze, enter a hotel, go knock. You are causing more grievances. That is what people do in beer nowadays. All those massive uh, barriers. Then, I was so surprised to see Yoli Duchi's wife consoling to be uh, uh, Juno's post wife. That was really nice, you know, them being together. Uh, Juno, uh, Yoli Duchi's uh, uh, first wife, knowing what it means to lose a child and not a husband, to also to lose a child and a husband because she already lost your leduchi and he be like said your little to join a book by to ramsef you know so consoling the woman they really understand they can relate with each other to know exactly how it feels like you know it's good to see her there i was even expecting uh your leduchi to come there but you know it was impossible where you have the other woman, Rita there Rita Duce was there and some other and the wife was there as well and some other people guy they will finish you and also i was even expecting a uh, even a uh, yole duchess new wife now to also come there but like they don't no come and meanwhile check out this actress uh, uh actress sarah after sarah said fair wear akbam akbam swag it is well you only your only offense was going out on that facebook day to look for daily bread I don't wish this kind of painful death on anyone, not even my debtors, Jude Austin and a stolen husband, <laughs> you know, I said people were using the avenue to also speak about other stuff. They really, really concentrated on Junior Pope, Junior Pope being the one that they, that they are respecting and being there for. Well, that aside, let's listen to what a money and his brother have to say. May his gentle soul rest in Papa peace. And um, on behalf of me and my brother and our friends, a lot of us are here. I want to say so sorry to the family. Juno Pope is a blessing to this generation. Juno Pope is a loving guy. Juno Pope is somebody that we will never forget in this generation. Somebody that is contented with whatever he has. We fell in love with him. Each time he sees me, my brother, and some of us, they call us blood. My blood. My blood. He also, it was a shocking story when we heard we lost him. And this is, I have a message for everybody here. As we are all leaving today, make sure you touch a life before leaving. It's very important. Some of us are taking this for granted. 
when we lost this young man, a lot of people did a lot of messy things. But I want to say this with this opportunity, let us remember our own self if we're in the shoes. But well, thank you to everybody that has shown love and support in any little way. And for the family, um, me and my brother, my brother is the godfather of the first son. And um, this friendship and union we have with Junior Pope this time today, it's been a long time. And when this happened, my brother said to me, we are going to take up uh, the three kids and make sure we take care of them till they grow. We can't do that without the support of the family or encouragement of the family. So we are saying it openly to the family that we are open and ready to support the kids. So if they grow to any level, they can take care of themselves. As far as food, clothes, school, anything, holidays concerned, we will do it. We are not doing it to show off. We are doing it because of the last comment our friend said. Now only me, my mama born. I got three children, yeah, and I need to thank them. Oh. Those words that have never leave my heart, and we took upon ourselves. When it comes to e money and his brother, of course, you guys know what uh, e money has done for for the family of uh, Junior Pope. How he has been assisting the family financially. How he bought a car for Junior Pope without no one hearing. And again, the recent allegations again concerning him money and the uh, Junior Pope's wife from that woman on Facebook. Well, Junior Pope has, however, directed the public to please help him to locate this woman because he wants to make sure the woman pays for her accusation and to prove that indeed he was having an affair with Junior Pope's wife and also he had he has hand in junior's pope's death you no know? i love what he money did you no know? there's no need to fight since you say my hand did junior pope dead and the uh, other things happen prove it. prove it 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 it's crazy how somebody will want to be uh, nice to people and the only thing you guys got to say is to come up with a crazy story. Hmm? And one thing about false stories is that as soon as it gets out, people will rush it. When the truth comes out, people who rushed it will not come back to check if the matter is true or not. They will just run with that initial story that, oh, this guy is so, 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 a person. Meanwhile, you don't know the truth of the matter. That is one thing about fake stories.